Hi and welcome back. In this episode, we'll create PostgreSQL database, set it up and connect it to our application with Kinex library. And then we'll set up database migrations and seeding Kinex solution. So, let's get started. Of course, first of all, you need to make sure that you have PostgreSQL installed. Uh, on Mac here, I'm just using the homebrew to install PostgreSQL, but you can just go to the official website and download official binary. So after you install PostgreSQL, we're ready to set it up. So first of all, here I am in BG Tracker API, and I'm going to install Kinex and PG Adapter because Kinex uses different adapters for different databases. Okay, done. For Kinex to work, it needs Kinex file. That is basically the configuration file. So we can generate it with the command Kinex init, and it will create the Kinex file in the root of our project. To have this Kinex command globally, of course, you need to install Kinex globally on your system. Okay, so I'm going to open up editor, and Kinex is created here, but I prefer to move it to source because the source folder is the folder that I will push to production. And I just want Kinex file be there as well. So I'm going to move it to source Kinex file like this. Of course, this introduced a little bit of problem to us, but we'll solve it. We're tough guys. So let's open the Kinex file and here it is. Basically, there's just the regular JavaScript object with development, staging, production, or any kind of other objects inside of it. And inside of each of these objects, we have the configuration object for the database. I'm gonna just cut and paste it here to use PostgreSQL in development. I'm going to delete staging altogether. And here I need to specify database name, user, and password. And I could do it like this, uh, something like bgt dev, like a name, and ram for username, and password is an empty password. But that's not very flexible, because uh, imagine that another developer comes to this project and he wants to use the, his own database that is named differently and credentials are different, so what uh, to do? So he will need to create his own Kinex file and you can't actually include this file in the repository, but on the other hand, in, produ in production uh, things, you maybe want to store them as well here. So yeah, it's a mess. So instead of just hard coding it, we're gonna use environment variables. So we'll use process.amp.db name. And I'm gonna do the same thing for both for username and for password. Okay, so another thing that I want to set up is migrations. Right now, all we have here is just the table name, which is okay, Kinex migrations. But I want to store all of my migrations right here in source folder. So I will have the DB folder and inside of it, I will have migrations. And I want Kinex migration creation uh, script to create migrations in this particular folder. So for that, it's very easy to do. I will just specify directory option and set it to db migrations. And the same thing I can do for seeds. So I will introduce another option here, seeds. And the same thing basically, the directory, but it will, po it will point to seeds. Okay. So now we use this db name and other variables. So let's go to dot env file and let's add it here. So db name will be bgt dev. db user is ram in my case. And db pass is empty on my machine. Hey there, just a quick self promotion. If you like what I do, find it valuable and want to support my work, I encourage you to go to jsfullstacker.com. There you can become a member for just $13 per month and you'll get access to all content that I've already published, plus 5 new episodes each week and access to Slack community where you can ask questions and get updates. You can cancel anytime, no questions asked. Link in the description. And now, back to the video. So the next thing that I want to do is to create the migration file for our users table. And for that, I need to create a command for Kinex migrate. 
So let's go to package.json and we will create a couple of commands. The first one will be kinex and basically I will just copy this command here and we call it kinex make and this will make the migration file. So, but instead of this uh, nodemon stuff, I'm gonna delete it and I will have kinex migrate make. But that's not all because we moved kinex file so we need to provide kinex file option and set it to where the kinex file actually is kinex file.js like this i'm gonna create another three commands like this so another will be migrate and here we'll have the kinex migrate latest another one will be the rollback because sometimes we need to roll back the migration so we'll have rollback here as well and the last one will be seed so we'll call it kinex seed and it's gonna be kinex seed run and we will run these commands at the end of this by the end of this episode okay so now using this kinex make command we actually can create migration file so let's try it out yarn run kinex make and then i need to specify the name of the migration file in our case there's going to be users and here we go you can see that it created file inside of source db migrations folder nice so let's open it up so migration exports two methods up and down so up is when we migrate in and down when we roll back i actually have a nifty snippet for migration like this so you can see here that each of these methods should return a promise. In our case, we return kinex schema create table method that returns promise. And it takes one parameter, which is the table name, in our case, users. And then in callback, we specify what kind of fields we want to have in the table. So the first one creates ID, which is outer increments, and it is the primary key. And I also added the date time created at and updated at, which I want to outer populate when I'm working with models. As you can see here, I'm using camel case. That's a travesty. When you work with PostgreSQL, the convention is to use the snake case. But as I'm the sole developer on this project, for now at least, and I'm using JavaScript all the way, I just use the same convention all over the place. Okay, so for the down here, also, we invoke drop table, which returns promise, and we specify what table we want to drop when we roll back. Okay, so now we can create our fields. So we'll have string field. So the first thing here is the type of the field, then the name of the field. And that's gonna be, for example, user name. And then we can chain constraints on it. So in this case, this, I want it to be unique and I want it to be required. In Kinex parallel, that's not nullable. I'm gonna copy it and the same thing goes with email. I'm gonna copy it and almost the same thing goes with password except of the uniqueness. And that's our migration. So now we want to run it. Of course, it will error out. So let's have a look. I'm gonna clean here and I will run yarn run kinex migrate. I run it and there are a lot of red font here, nice. Database RAM does not exist. Hmm. That's a weird one, right? Uh, why database RAM? So if you go back to our Kinex file, you'll see that I'm using DB name, right? From the environment variables. And if I go to the environment, you will see that it, it should be BGT dev, but it's not. But if you think about it, it makes perfect sense. We actually run the script outside of our application. Only in our app, we actually require and configure .env. But when we run our Kinex migration, command it doesn't know anything about this .env package so one way to fix it is just to go to the kinex file and we'll just require it from here .env from .env and then i will have .env.config but in this case i need to specify parameter path to point out that where the environment file is so now if i save it and go back to terminal and again try to run uh, migrate it's still red but now it's a good red because now we have bgt dev the error that we actually expect because we haven't created database yet 
So let's do this. Let's create database and with PostgreSQL you do it with command create db bgt dev. Bam. Let's try it again. Migrate. And here we go. It worked. So here I am connected to the bgt dev database via Postico. It's just the GUI. You can use anything. And you can see that we have users table and the fields that we specified in migration file. That's nice. So the last thing that I want to do, I want to create the user model here. And I could do it manually right here, for example. But again, it's not very flexible. I want it to be universal for all developers. And for that, we're going to see the database. We've already configured the seeds. So let's create in db seeds folder, we're going to create users.js. So when we run seed command, it will go through all files inside of this seeds folder. And inside of each file, it should export seed function. This function takes keynex and it should return promise. So we return keynex, the users table. But before inserting anything to it, I want to delete everything from it. So this way I clean the whole table from any data that is there. And it returns promise, so I can use them. And repeat the same thing again. I'm going to return keynex for users. And now I can insert array of objects. In our case, it's going to be only one object with ID 1. Uh, email, let's say, ramchigmail.com. Ramchi Username, uh, ram. And password. And password is a little bit tricky because password should be bcrypted. So I will just copy and paste it here. This is basically the bcrypted version of the password test. And I will leave this password uh, in the comments to this particular episode. And that's it. So let's have it. So what's going on here? We first we clean the user's table from data and then we insert one record into it and we can add different records, other records that we want or need for our development purposes. Nice, so now let's go back to terminal and run kinex seed command. It ran perfectly fine. And now if we go back to Postico and reload, here it is, we have our user. Great, we connect the database to our application and we set up Kinex to use its pretty simple solution for database migrations. In the next episode, we'll create user model and dummy authenticate middleware. <laughs>